Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to set up PCSX2, which is a PS2 emulator that runs on your computer. And what we're going to have to do for this is we're going to go over to their website, links are in the description, and we're going to download the installer, which is right here, the standalone installer, hit download, and we're also going to need the PS2 BIOS. I have a link for it in the description, but if it ever gets taken down, just Google PS2 BIOS and you will honestly be able to find them really no problem. So, after you get the installer, you can go ahead and run it. And on this first screen, we're going to leave everything checked off. Hit next. And then you're going to choose your install location. And then we'll hit install. And once it finishes, close it up. Now all we got to do is launch the emulator. So I'm just going to click on the shortcut that's on my desktop and open it up. And we'll be greeted with the setup menu. So we're going to hit next on this page if you shouldn't get this pop-up but if you do hit overwrite and on this page we're just gonna leave everything as is and then on this page it's gonna ask us for our BIOS and as you can see we have no ROMs in the list even if we refresh it so we're gonna go ahead and open in Explorer this will open up the BIOS folder and with that zip file that you've either downloaded from me or another website you're gonna right click it and you're gonna either extract it or open the archive whatever you use to deal with zip files and then you're gonna go in the folder right there and you're gonna get all the contents and just click and drag it into the folder that opened and we can close them both up we're gonna hit refresh the list and you'll see all the BIOS is here I always go with USA the 2004 one right there it's a, it's always worked really well for me so then we're gonna hit finish and if you don't like this ugly command window that pops up right here, you can go to miscellaneous on the top. I always take it off. So the last thing we're going to have to do is set up our controller. And to do that, we're going to go to config, and then we're going to go down to controllers, and then we're going to go to plugin settings. And on this screen, we don't really need to pay any attention to this. You should look it over, though, but you won't have to change anything. And go to pad 1. And what we're going to do right here is you'd go ahead and click on L1, hit the button you want to be L1 on your Xbox controller or on your keyboard or whatever you're using, and just do that throughout this whole process. And once you're done, go ahead and hit apply and then OK. The one last thing you're able to do with this emulator is beef up the graphics a little bit. And if you'd like to do that, go to config, go to video, go to plugin settings. I always use the OpenGL hardware and what you can do is you can turn up the resolution of the game which will make the game look a lot nicer um, depending on how strong your computer is it depends on how much up this scale you can go I can go up to 8x but if you're com if you're having slowdowns in emulation you could just leave it at native or 2 or whatever works for you for this I usually leave it at bilinear Anisotropic filtering, this is another thing where it just depends on how strong your computer is. Of course, 16 is the nicest, 2 is the least. And then just click OK. And now your emulator is all set up, and all you have to do is load up a game. And you're actually good to go. You can play whatever you want to play. So where, whenever you get a game file, you can either load the game by going to boot fast, boot full, and it'll open this up, and all you have to do is locate your ROM on your computer, and you can run it. And now you can just play your game. If you ever come across a game that looks really graphically glitched, like things just don't look right, or maybe it's missing textures or something, hit F9 on your keyboard to toggle to an alternate rendering mode, and that will fix the problem like 99% of the time. So I hope this helped everybody, and if it did, be sure to like and subscribe. You guys have a good one. Peace out, everybody.